listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B. Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio. I always try to hold the laughter in. People must think we silly as fuck because we always he's so, start the show laughing. But he's so smooth with it, though. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> so you're sick. A little bit. The germs, I can feel them <clears throat> just like yeah. engulfing me right now. I'm gonna stay over here. Don't worry about it. I'm cool. <sighs> Hi everyone, welcome to Social Misconduct, or welcome back to Social Misconduct. I'm Mick. That's B. Walt with all these clothes on. <laughs> you just got a lot of shit on. Dog, I don't feel well, man. I feel like, like I need this scarf. You just look right hot, now. like. Dude, I feel like I need this shit right <laughs> wait, now. Wait, wait. <laughs> Did you just throw it yes. off? <laughs> I'm a need for you to not throw that shit over your shoulder. Like we're in it's chilly, man. Chicago. I mean, for LA standards, it has been chilly though. It's been cold. I know people are in Chicago are like, going fuck to you. be fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry, shit. By LA standards, it's cold. Yeah. Fuck mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I had turned my heat on the other night. That may be excessive, but I, you know, I get cold. Like I'm always cold. So. My heat came on. So, so why you weren't why you wearing your scarf? Shut up. <laughs> I'll tell them. I share things with them. Why, why are you wearing your scarf? Okay, ladies. You know how you're not supposed to wash your bra in the washing machine? So I did that because I was being lazy and I didn't feel like hand washing my shit. <laughs> so you know, if you wash it in the washing machine, it loses its shape. <laughs> so you just got crooked titties right now. <laughs> So my friend Vody <laughs> saw me today and poked he's gay, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> I got to put that disclaimer out there. Like, you just let men poke your titties. <laughs> so <laughs> Vody poked uh, me in the boob and was like, are you fucking lactating? What's going on with your breasts today? Because <laughs> I guess it was a shadow because it was like dented in because the bra was. Yeah, I had some issues today. So I'm covering up with my fashionable scarf. I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> and not that I ever think B is gay, but I forget that he's straight. We're so cool and close. So like I forget. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, so my titties and I'm grabbing my them. And I'm like, well, I don't today. want you to look at them, though. Like, it, yeah. So I have on my scarf and uh, it's covering so you all don't think that I have like dented boobs because my boobs are fucking great <laughs> um, <laughs> and perky and like Jesus everything. You sound like a, a dating app right now. Like you but put information out there. it's going to look dented because my goddamn bra lost its shape because I washed the shit while being lazy. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> So this fool is wearing a scarf because I'm wearing a scarf because he's extra. And I just can't. I don't think I'm going to keep it on. And the fact that you keep, like, throwing that over your shoulder, you look crazy as hell. Yes. Really? Yes. Tell me about this stolen package. Eh, Fuck them motherfuckers. (laughs) He was pissed about his stolen package. Dude. I would be pissed, too, The thing about it only costs, like, like. It doesn't even matter how much. It doesn't matter. It's your shit. I would be pissed. I don't care. It was $10, man. And when the guy, like, whoever stole it, and I have an idea who it is, when they open it, they're going to feel stupid because they can't do shit with it. You leave my fucking mail alone. So it was at your door? Uh, Right now, we have renovations going on at the uh, the Cando, at at the apartment. Oh. I'm supposed to people coming over there. I haven't been over there in a while. Yeah, they over there fixing it and shit. And I had a package that said it was delivered. Said wow, it was delivered. Nothing's ever been stolen shit. before. Did you report it at least? Yeah. Oh. Okay. But what they gonna do is a ten dollar. Like it was really is ten dollars. Still, I'm pissed. You know I'm extra. I'm causing <laughs> all type of drama. I don't give a fuck. I want my shit. And you know me. You know how. You know how. I'm just loud for no reason and shit. And I don't know which one of the four dudes that was over there that took it, but I know it was one of them. So I walk outside and I'm all like. Motherfucker, lucky I ain't catch him. I'll fuck a nigga up. You know, know I'm saying. I wish. And Simone don't like him. Simone don't like him neither because she said that she was, you know, coming out and they were looking at her funny. So I'm already like, man, you know. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. You know, I get some delivered weekly. So (laughs) if I get a text message or an email saying some shit was delivered. 
and I get home and, and my motherfucking there. Sephora package is not in front of my door, I'm knocking on every goddamn door. Where is my shit? We're going to have a fucking problem. Every week I get some from Sephora. So, <laughs> or Hope Look. That was number two. How you say it? Hope Look. That's the correct way to say it. Hope. It's not hot. It's not. Okay. Yes. How you say the shoes with the red bottoms? Louboutin. Okay. <laughs> At least you're asking because people just. I mean, I don't, you know, it's not like I'm going to go buy any of them. I'm just curious. I'm actually going to do a YouTube video pronouncing certain brands for people. Because I'm sick of watching, Nikki and I talk about this all the time. I'm sick of watching like girls, beauty bloggers and fashion girls on YouTube talking about brands and didn't even take the time to research how to pronounce them. That annoys the shit out of me. Bitch, you have a million goddamn followers and you can't do your due diligence and look up how to pronounce a certain name? How you say Tom Ford? <laughs> I'm going to smack you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, gosh. So, you know, occasionally I still write for Press Path LA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I went to the International Medical Corps event. A little different than what I usually cover. You know, I usually do, like, lifestyle or entertainment. This was more charity, of course. They're an organization that provides relief to um, – different countries that need like medical relief when like disasters hit or stuff like that. So I can't even deal with them right now with the scarf. Um, so like the whole Ebola outbreak and Liberia and all these places, they went there, treated people. So they send doctors out and all that stuff. So this was like their annual awards show. And why are you looking at me? Like that? Did some of the people did? No. Okay. <laughs> You already know what I'm going to ask. They had them there, too? No. Okay. Um, so these are people that stepped up and just helped in time of need and all of that. So they just honored them and gave them awards. So I was lucky enough to go to that. It was um, very bougie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you didn't invite me to go. Um, it was at the Beverly Wilshire in Beverly Hills, the Pretty Woman Hotel. <laughs> One of my faves. That's wow. how people know it. So, oh, the in the movie. movie. Oh, I yeah. thought you said only pretty women can go no, to this hotel. No, the movie like, Pretty right. Woman. So, okay. you know, the hotel that's. Okay. So, that's how people know the hotel. So, it was there. Um, so, you know, it was bougie. Um, <laughs> it's one of my favorite places, of course. I love covering events there. In like one of their big ballrooms, it was dinner and all that. You know, I was tipsy before it even started because <laughs> of the cocktail hour. Um, yeah. And so I, it was nice. I was sitting at the media table with like Fox News and all these other people, even though, you know, I don't like Fox, but, right. <laughs> but there were like, uh, there was a media table and I was sitting with those people. And of course I talked about our lovely show um, to them. To Fox News? Hey, to whoever listened, because um, <laughs> we kind of went around the table and was just like saying who we were, what we did. And I was actually sitting at the table with the global communications director of the organization. I got her card, so um, <laughs> we could do some stuff with her and the organization. It's a really good organization, and they honored a lot of people. It's good. So that was what I did this and last thursday last and, thursday and i couldn't go because i didn't have a plus one sir you're always my plus one when i have one i don't know if i would have wanted to unless go. it's like a beauty event you don't want to do that i don't shit. know if i would have wanted to go but oh if i had a plus one you already know i would drag you there against your will but i told you would have won some sweatpants and some flip-flops you would not show up with me like that <laughs> so um when we were waiting on our cars at valet, remember I told you about the Tesla? <laughs> so it was, a, it was crazy. Um, it was like all these people, you know, we're in Beverly Hills, my little car. I'm like, okay, mine ain't shit compared to all this stuff pulling up. So we're waiting on our cars. And so this one of the valet guys pull up a Tesla and no one was claiming it. Um, <laughs> Who, why? How, I don't, rich, how rich you gotta be to forget you got a Tesla? I mean, 
So he's calling out, who has the silver Tesla? Tesla, silver Tesla, here's your car. No one. And I'm like, I will take the shit. Like, you you just the taken fuck? It. See, but then you reminded me that I couldn't charge it. No, nah, not after. No. Nah. How am I charge it? So, yeah, then there's that. But that's why you should have brought me. But eventually someone, clearly. No, that's why you should have brought me. I would have totally drove off with that yeah. shit. Met you somewhere else with it. So we're all looking around like, so nobody's going to claim this bitch? Like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck my car. <laughs> I'll take this one. But yeah, you know, some rich guy got in and hmm. drove away to his mansion somewhere. Hmm. Yeah. Good job. So, made me feel shitty about my life hmm. and my he, decisions. You made good decisions. <laughs> right. The fuck am I doing with my life? But <laughs> it's another story. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into the fuckery news. <laughs> the fuckery news. So, you know, I have um, this thing about sperm. Not a good thing, by the way. Very good thing. Not a good thing. I, I don't know. It's gross to me. Like, mm, I don't want it touching me. You wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that kind of stuff. I get that. But I don't want it touching me. I don't want it on me. <laughs> gross. <laughs> so, <laughs> Garage. and all the other nasty shit that people do, I can't. Um, so <laughs> we're not even gonna go because we're talking about some oral shit later. So, oh Jesus! Anyway, oh. a beauty blogger by the name of Tracy Kiss from London, I think. Um, she says that sperm facials are the secret to her glowing skin. And that her male friend delivers it in a pot every day. Okay. Um, um, we're pretty fucking close. I don't want your sperm to put on my face every day, homie. That ain't her male friend. Well, she says she don't have a man. So. They fucking. How you know? How else is she retrieving the sperm? From he's his... delivering it every day. Yeah, he's coming <laughs> over there, but he's not delivering it till he gets there. Understand what I'm saying? Whatever. You ain't gonna put that shit in a pot and, and take it because well, it won't be good. Like you got. Well, she don't need it to make a baby. She's using it to put on her face. I'm saying, but if <laughs> if you don't apply it right away, it tends to dry out, right? I'm pretty sure it will be gross and sticky by the time it still gets there. <laughs> Gro- oh, oh my god, the thought of me scooping up sperm. And putting it all over my fucking face and letting it sit there for 20 minutes, because that's what she does. There's a YouTube video if y'all want to see this shit. Tracy Kiss is her name, so you can look this shit up. I didn't watch the video because I would throw the fuck up, but y'all can watch it if you want. But she's saying how great it is. It's natural. Yeah, it is natural, but I'm good. I have my lovely mask and scrubs that I buy from Sephora at home that work just fine and gives me glowing skin. How you you know they don't use sperm in that? They may. It don't smell or feel like sperm on my face. She's a single mother of two. I just saw that. Yes. And she was talking to somebody about the benefits of sperm. Okay, girl. And that's how um, she did more research and, you know, found out that it was great for the skin and that, oh, she has rosacea. And so she uses it and she said it it helps. the rosacea? Yeah. How did she figure this out the first time? I told you she was talking to somebody about the benefits of sperm and uses for it. Why? I don't know. No, but I'm saying. And she did research and. Well, whoever, I mean, whoever initiated the conversation, how did they figure this out? Like, did they research it before they decided to rub on their face? Or was it just one of those I sexual mishaps? I think they mishaps? had <laughs> so I was going to I think they had a facial. <laughs> you better tell me when you, you know. And <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She's all pissed off. Then she goes, wait, wait. this, this feels My really, skin feels, feels really soft. Good. Fuck out of here, I'm man. good. Bitch, you can keep that. <laughs> I am all into beauty shit. You know I'll try some shit. I'm not putting semen on my motherfucking face. Are you crazy? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I am. I don't even like eating white sauce. Like, Because it reminds me of you, sperm. You and Kali, both. Like, both I y'all. can't. Like, oh, my God. I can't. I don't even fucking eat Alfredo because it just reminds me of sperm. So, I know that's weird. I know that's extra, but it's the truth. So she's Ask got, anybody. She, she's got videos. She does videos? Yes. Does she well, she's actually, a beauty blogger. But does she, is she actually applying real sperm in the videos? She is. 
showing you yes there it's like a tutorial like i watch makeup and beauty tutorials all the time that's what this is so does she have a dick on hand to retrieve I, said the guy her friend puts it in a little container and gives it to her yeah but day. i'm saying that shit has to happen pretty quick like no can't. people all you can people keep sperm all the time like to make babies and shit later. Yeah, but they freeze it. He okay. Ain't freezing the shit. How do you know? So he's freezing it. How do you know? He's shooting it into a refrigerator and taking it to the house later. How do you know what he's doing? Because it just seems like it's too much work. Well, it's working for her. Maybe she paying him for the sperm. <laughs> I don't know. This shit's <laughs> disgusting either way. I'm getting texts right now and people are like saying gross shit. Oh, my God. Ew. Ugh. Ew. <laughs> I can't. And she is like all into it, bitch. You can keep you that You will never shit. see a man come up with something like that. Gross. Never. Never will you see a dude come up with Watch. We're like going to hear about her bottling this shit, like making an actual moisturizer and shit using sperm. Watch. Her or somebody else. And there'll be a lot of people to buy it, probably. Not this girl. <sighs> anyway. Aaron sent us this next story. Shout out to Butter Butterburger back in the shy. They call him Butterburger out <laughs> okay, there. Okay. I don't know. I'll tell know. you about that later. All right. Uh, so, Aaron, I saw this, and then Aaron, like, tagged us in it, and I'm like, oh, we got to use this because it's crazy. She looked crazy as fuck, too. Clearly. Clearly. <clears throat> Pastafarian <laughs> gets to wear a spaghetti colander. Is that how you say it? I don't cook much. I think colander. Colander, colander on her head in her license photo. Because it's a part of her religion. <laughs> the church of the flying spaghetti monster. Are you fucking serious? And they took this shit seriously. Because she said it was her religion. And you know when you throw some religion in there, people got to like take it seriously. Really? Were you able to wear your hat when you took your license picture? Exactly. You can, you're not even supposed to put anything on your head. They forbid that shit. And this bitch was able to put this shit on her head because she's a part of the damn church of the flying spaghetti monster. Bitch, are you cr- really, really? Hold on. So that, that really brings, that brings up questions. <laughs> then, so I can't. What are they? What are they called? The the Sikhs are the ones with the hats, the, with the with the wraps, right? Do they have to take those off when they take pictures? I don't think so because it's part of their religion. Huh. But this spaghetti pasta girl, really, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm saying it like that on purpose. <laughs> oh my God. That is so ridiculous. So yeah, she said, and I'm going to tell you her reasoning behind it. Um, for one, Lindsay Miller said that um, she absolutely loves the history and the story of Pastafarians, whose website says has existed in secrecy for hundreds of years and entered the mainstream in 2005. Are, and you, are you fucking serious? I'm dead serious. And that wearing the spaghetti strainer allows her to express her beliefs like other religions are allowed to do. No, you're a fucking nut job. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And what's and worse I thought this was a fake story. It's why, everywhere. Why did this? Why did this even make the? I mean, I know it's we need. I mean, yeah. we wouldn't exist if it wasn't crazy shit. But why would this even? This ain't even. Cra- this isn't crazy. Like it's just stupid. I thought it wasn't real. Like. I thought it was a fake story, and I kept looking it up, like other places. This shit, I got, this is on ABC. ABC <laughs> Seven, yeah. like this is some real shit. Yeah, this is, and it was other places, it's like mainstream on, shit. Yeah, it's not on the back of the Huffington Post. This is like TV. Oh, I can't. So yeah, that there's that. What's a fly? I want to know what the flying spaghetti monster is. Me too. How does one look? Hmm. Okay. So right. uh, my vagina hurts reading this. Okay, we didn't talk about your titties already. And well, now your coochie hurting too. Whatever. A man faces charges after 21 severed vaginas are found in his freezer. Gross. Ouch. <laughs> Gross. And you see the picture of the peach that they showed. Yeah. They got a f- picture of a frozen peach. <laughs> like stuck in some ice. That's just, I can't. So Peter... Frederickson. Whatever. He's 58, um, Danish man, um, appeared in court this week after being arrested in September when 21 mutilated vaginas were found in his freezer. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just reading the story. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> What's wrong with people? I don't know. So he lives in South Africa, and he owns a gun shop. And he showed up to his bail hearing wearing slippers and carrying plastic grocery bags. <laughs> Bruh. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. So one of those vaginas was his ex-wife. Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. Is she still alive? No, she's not. It's said that one of the alleged vic- victims was his own wife. Um, she was 28, and her husband drugged her before cutting off her vagina. She was also due to testify, but was shot and killed outside of her home in October. Mm-hmm. Can't. This motherfucker is insane. Like, really? You just cutting coochies off? Okay. And how, how do you even do that? Cause how, like, how, how, do you go? I don't. Mm, I don't even want to think about it. I don't either. Ouch. That's not. I, I don't. don't yeah, wanna, I don't even want the graphics. But what the fuck? How is his? How how is his defense team going to work? For I know. Him? I don't what even think say? anyone's going to take this case. Like, what are they going to say? I can't. They were found in a plastic freeze in plastic freezer bags alongside surgical equipment and um, anesthetic drugs. Yeah. Oh, and it said it's not clear if his other victims were alive at the time of their assaults. Nor do we know if they survived having their vaginas removed. So we just don't know. We don't know. Can't. Great. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Who found this one? You found this one? I did. That shit was crazy. Ruin my appetite. Well, man. it was just so insane. Shit. I had to talk about that because, ouch. Oh. So, you want to talk about this lady mm. coming from labor? Mother claims she had an orgasm during labor. I've heard of this before. Houseway. I've heard it happen. How? I've heard it happen. Houseway. Before. <laughs> bitch, what? I've heard it labor, happen. Labor, bitch. Labor. Labor with a baby. Like, you about to push a bitch out. Like, and you coming. Really? I've heard of it before. Can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what? She said it was a full body orgasm too. So she's. I ain't not never <laughs> met a mother that pushed a child out that said it felt good. <laughs> not one, not one <laughs> in my twenty eight years of life. In your twenty eight years of life, <laughs> what happened to the other twelve? Have I ever? Met anyone that said that they came from having a guy pushing out a fucking baby? Girl, this is some weird ass shit. And she just look weird. She's like a hippie, weird ass. Look how she holding her baby. Like, that's not a baby anymore. Well, true. That kid's like 10. Yeah, this kid is like grown and she is carrying her. I bet you she still breastfeeds. This girl. <laughs> that's what she look like. She look like the type of lady. This, like, this little girl is eight. She's 175 months. She is holding months. her on her hip. I'm she's not kidding you in this picture. She's 175 months. She's not eight. She's 175 months or something like that. Yes. She looks yeah. like the type that'll like yeah. give the age in yeah. weeks and shit yeah. when the little girl's eight uh, and still breastfeeds and homeschools and so I can't. She, she claims she claims that, it, that, that basically the, the orgasm was brought on by basically training her body before the birth. Yes. She was doing like dancing and dancing shit and, weird and types listening of yoga. to music and relaxing and yeah. um oh and it says that it helps to have a partner in the delivery room playing with the clit and your breasts to help st- bitch you're in labor that is disgusting. Do you know how much shit is coming out of your vagina? And the odor and all that. I've been in a delivery room with someone. It is disgusting. I haven't. Thanks. It's disgusting. I'm telling you right now, which is why I'm never having a baby. And I'm never going to be in a delivery room again. <laughs> it scarred me for life. Can't you tell? <laughs> like, I can't. <laughs> disgusting. Can we not do the rest of the show? I'm, I'm going to go home now. <laughs> so it said it helps to have someone in the room, like, basically fingering you and shit while you're in labor. Girl. Girl. Girl, <laughs> I can't. I have no words. Who was doing it? <laughs> so wait. So her man at the time. I don't know if they still together. Probably not, cause she weird as fuck. Fuck that. No. Nope. So he was too squeamish about blood, cause clearly there's gonna be blood, cause you're pushing a human out of your vag. Oh. Um, 
So he couldn't do it. So she called her friend, a girl. I'm loyal. <laughs> no. I'm a ride or die bitch, but girl. Nope. nope. There is no way in hell that I am coming to the delivery room to finger you and play with your damn nipples <laughs> to make you come during labor. Nope. Are you serious? No. Nope. Girl, that is the end of, if you even ask me some shit like that, that's the end of our friendship. No. Nope. We ain't even cool no more. Fuck I look like. You got me fucked up. No. All the way. No. No. All the way fucked up. No. I, I was in the delivery no. room with my girl holding her big ass leg while she pushed the baby out because she couldn't hold her own fucking legs up because of the medication. Scarred for life done never again no can't nope Mm -mm. it's called an orgasmic birth and there's like a science behind it of course and all this well if you got somebody playing with your fucking titties and your fucking clit but you're in pain how how sway (laughs) hey she she prepped for it she was doing the dancing and the yoga and all that shit that's that's what had happened nikki says stop I got to drive the point home of how disgusting it is. Like, I can't. Oh, God. My insides hurt. All right. Let's talk about something else. We have two more that we got to speed through. Uh, I thought we were going to get. We can probably get through all of them. Uh, we can finish them. <sighs> Dennis is in Chicago. Got to love our town. What's up with people fighting? On, okay. Over so food. Denny's customer is pissed off because they didn't honor. Denny's didn't honor the all you can eat pancake meal or whatever it's denny's girl food there costs what three dollars like are you fucking serious but the thing is you read in the story it's her own fucking fault that denny's like when you go to places like that when you go to buffets or whatever like denny's ain't a buffet no i'm just saying oh. when you go to a place where you can have as much food as you want okay. it applies to the motherfucker that the paid person, for that yeah she's passing pancakes to other people you, it was yeah. four dollars girl four dollars that's what it says all you can eat pancakes at fucking denny's four dollars and they sharing pancakes and shit and then you get mad when the waitress is like hey girl it don't work like this like that's for you you can't share she got to get her own y'all don't have another four dollars so she gets mad then she punched the lady i believe so yes she got mad punched the bitch for telling her doing her job regulating four dollar pancakes and <laughs> <laughs> you get mad hit her and then run out, skip out on the $4 bill. Really? It's Denny's, people. Denny's. Which is gross anyway. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> Why? Why she got to be black, too? Why? Look at her. She just looks stupid with that badass weed. You know Bitch, what? are you serious? I think I know where this Denny's is, too, because of where they caught her when she ran away. On Cicero. I know where this mm-hmm. is. Ugh. And then she's 27. You too goddamn old to be acting like this over $4 pancakes. <laughs> you hit a bitch and you cursing her out for telling you, telling you you can't share pancakes? That's just like that woman. Ghetto shit. That's just I like can't. that woman that beat up the girl for the chicken McNuggets. It's the same thing. This is when I'm Mexican. Like, I can't, <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal. Like, I switch back and forth because I just can't. You Mexican right yep. now? Yep. When shit like this happens, I can't <laughs> relate. No. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, I don't like online dating. Tinder's stupid to me. I can't get down, right? So this woman in London <laughs> went out with a guy on t- that she met on Tinder. Um, they went out for coffee. Uh-huh. $3 and 50 pounds. What's that? $5? I don't know. Something like that. Whatever. $3. Three. I keep saying dollars. 3.5 pounds. pounds. Um, that's how much her cup of coffee costs. So the guy thought the date went well. She did not. She was nice about it. He asked her, like, for another date. She politely declined and was like, oh, I don't feel that we had chemistry. He's like, oh, come over. Let me make dinner. I don't fucking know you. So she was like, I don't feel comfortable coming to your house. We didn't have chemistry. I think we should just end it here. He gets mad and asks for his money back. Right on, brother. A refund for his damn coffee that he bought her on the date. Are you serious? Right on, brother. I will smack the shit out of you. Why? What is wrong with you? Why he can't ask for a refund? 
Why? That's lame. That's cheap. He could be lame You're a and cheap. Fuck boy. You're an ass. What, what the asshole. fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> Just because she didn't want a second date, so now you're gonna ask for a refund? He felt that it was an investment. I bet he got a little dick. I bet you he got a little dick. Because only little dick men do shit like he this. He felt that it was an investment of his five pounds. Really? Yeah. Three pounds. Three point five. Whatever. Investment. It was coffee. Yeah, but. So then she was like, oh, I'll I'll do this. How about I donate? Oh, no, why don't you <laughs> donate the $3, three pounds to charity? Um, or I'll donate the three pounds to the charity of your choice so that you can reclaim some decency for asking me that dumb shit. <laughs> and he was like, no, I'll take the money. <laughs> he Maybe he needed it. He is a dick. I can't. And he included his bank account in the message. <laughs> sure did. Uh, it said that he demanded uh, she pay him directly, oh and he included his bank account in the message so he could receive the money immediately. Really, really. Three dollars and three point five pounds. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So what she did was posted that shit on Twitter because she's a blogger. <laughs> well, yeah, you knew that and was. And told gonna the world that he's a fucking asshole. Did she say what his name was? No, and she was nice enough to like cover up his account number because I would just, you know, I'm petty. I just would have put that out there too for being a dick. Fuck you, dumbass. I hate people. <laughs> so I don't date. Like, I can't. Are you fucking serious? I would have met up with his ass, bought him a cup of coffee just to pour it in his fucking face, you asshole. You would have went through all that trouble. Yep. Bitch. <laughs> you know, I've been angry all day. This shit like that makes me mad. Just because she turned you down for another day. Politely. She wasn't even a bitch about it. She just like, we didn't have chemistry. No, thank you. And then you fucking creeper. You invite her to your house to cook her dinner. I don't know you. I just told you no. Like, I don't even want to meet you in public anymore. Why the fuck would I come to your house? And then you get <laughs> mad. And now you want your money back? You want to be petty? I can be way more petty than you. <laughs> You serious? I can't. Oh, he's lucky it was her and not me. Let's just say. I still that. think it's funny though. Three. I think it's ridiculous. Pounds. Grow the fuck up, asshole. You'll never get pussy that way, ever. What kind of information can you find? I mean, because it's just a swipe left, swipe right thing, right? It doesn't tell you what they do for a living or nothing. Or I don't. I mean, think. you can put stuff. Remember, it's like stuff you can fill oh, yeah, out. Yeah. Um, and it pulls from Facebook. So, I mean, you can go to their Facebook and stalk them if you need to. So. You can find out information. But, I mean, if they went on a date, I would hope they exchanged more, in, you know. I well, would hope. A lesson to everyone out there, right? Do some more research. Don't do Tinder. Just, that's no, the lesson. just do some more research. <laughs> the lesson is fuck Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so oh, there's two quick ones. <sighs> Rent a mom service for times when you just need your mother. You can rent a woman to pretend to be your mother. Let me just tell you one motherfucking thing. There is no substitution for my mama. Ever. Aww. Not my mama. Mm-mm. I don't want another rent a mom, bitch. Who, you, bitch? What? No. <laughs> Nobody can take her place. Like, why would I ever want to rent a mom? Why do I have? <laughs> so, yes, you can, for $40 an hour, you can rent. Some bored ass white lady probably because black mamas ain't doing this shit. Black mamas don't even want to deal with the kids they got. <laughs> they, <laughs> they ain't about to be over there comforting your ass. So you know it's white mamas only. Oh, I'm just saying, keep it real. You, a black mama gonna do this shit if they pan. You don't think so? Hell no. Black mamas don't even want to keep their grandkids. Like, they ain't doing this shit. I'm not about to comfort you and listen to your motherfucking problems. Black women got problems of their fucking own. I don't want to be your mama. Shit. You know what? It took yeah. forever to get my kids out of my house. Why the fuck would I want to, like, talk to you? The fuck? This is dumb and lonely. Bitch, find a man. Like, I can't. <laughs> so you're going to rent a mom because you sad and shit and you need a hug. Like, I can't. This is stupid. <laughs> and there's no substance. I mean, unless your mother passed away or something, there's no substitution for your mom. Like, unless she's just a bad mom, which you got those out there. 
But damn, get a therapist. You need to talk out your problems of why you feel the need to pay money to go. You are in rare form today, dog. But think about it. <laughs> Shit. I feel like if you're going to pay money, right, I would rather pay a therapist to tell me why I feel the need to pay for a rent mom I think that's stupid. If I want to pay for something, I would rather pay for a therapist and get real help. That's all that I'm saying. Okay, so in the grand scheme of things, how long do you think something like this is really going to last? It's clearly As long as people keep paying the $40 an hour. It's clearly a trend that you probably will not see a year from now. I just feel that people are stupid and people are like needy and they're going to use this shit. I mean, we we live we live in a very weird time and we live in a very weird city and you see <sighs> <laughs> stuff like this all the time that pops up and you're like how the fuck you know like they got dog psychiatrists you know they got anything I know. for anybody i know that thing that you did a couple weeks ago when you jumped in that big ass teacup that cryotherapy got, exactly. shit i know because i ain't paying for that <laughs> so this is just to me this just seems like this is something that'll be gone in a couple months I guess. maybe a year i just feel save up your coins a little bit more money and pay a therapist that's all i'm saying because i feel like you got deeper issues boo <laughs> um <laughs> And this was just funny. It's not a real story. It was just someone thought it was a good idea to make a mosaic of uh, Don Donald Trump using 500 dick pics. I thought it was fitting. Is the whole picture dicks? The entire picture is dicks? I think so. So where did he find the red, white, and blue penises to make the flag? Well, I th you know how if you place everything together and it creates a color? You got to be real precise about this shit. So somebody really sat here and... Um, Who was playing with like... 500 dicks I to make a picture. Somebody that like dicks. Mm -hmm. Shit's funny I bet you to it me. was Tracy Kiss. <laughs> Stupid. I think it was probably Tracy Kiss. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, it's a lot of dick pics put together to make the face out to look like Donald Trump. I'm it looks just like him. I'm trying to zoom in on him. Shit's hilarious to it me. It won't let me zoom in and look. So, that's the only reason why I picked this, because I hate that motherfucker. <laughs> You know, he don't like gay people, black people, Mexican people, anybody that's not white. Anybody that doesn't agree with him. Yeah. So in general. There's yeah. that. Um, so, yeah. Just brought that up. Did you hear that he was on Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I did. I saw clips. Did this really happen? It did. And he did uh, Drake's Hotline Bling. Yeah, I can't. I'm glad I didn't see uh, it. I didn't watch it. I just saw clips on, like, <sighs> Instagram and shit. Um, all I, right. I mean, seriously. I mean, I know we got another thing to talk about, but seriously, who in their right mind actually think this guy is right for the, the country? So many people, unfortunately. A lot of people. Not me, but. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of scary. It is. It's very scary. I agree. He's like Bush on steroids mm -hmm. when it comes to the ignorant shit that mm -hmm. I just think he would do. Agreed. Jesus. And some of the shit that he just doesn't give a fuck about saying out loud. I heard the other day he was talking about just bombing the shit out of somebody. Mm -hmm. Like, I was, you know, you fuck. in a fucking presidential. Mm -hmm. And people the, be and like, here, debates. take my money for your campaign. Right, right. I support you. In one of Dumb the debates. Ass, I'll bomb the fuck out of you, motherfuckers. And he, I mean, really? Yep. Wow. Okay. So, this is not my topic, just so uh, I'm putting a disclaimer out there. B wanted to talk about you know why you know how I be trolling you know how I be trolling Facebook sometimes I don't I haven't had time to do it often but there's still an issue with people and oral sex I figured in 2015 why 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 it, tell me what do you mean All by right, issue so okay so I got a friend I'm not gonna say her name but she put a very cryptic post on Facebook about a dude that she was with that didn't like going down on her. Okay. Mm hmm Maybe her coochie stink. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, it could be a lot of reasons. Look, dog, look, okay, so when we were younger, right? It could when be you, reasons. When we were you don't younger. You want to go down with her because she may have an odor. I don't fucking know. When we were younger, right, say you're like, you know, when you were like five. Oh, man, I don't want to kiss that girl. I don't like mm -hmm. girls. I don't want to kiss that girl. When you were 15, it was... You know. Well, I thought sucking dick was gross all the way up until college. But you, but you see how like. <laughs> so, but it's like the older get you it. get, the older you get. Aren't I you get supposed it. to be more? The older you get, aren't you supposed, supposed to be a little mature? bit more? Not mature, but more accepting of certain things not that you wouldn't have done earlier. 
because when we were, I mean, well, you're supposed to grow and be open to new things. Yes. Right. But if some shit gross you out, it just gross when you we, out. When we were when we were in high school, what was the thing? Like, oh, we'll have sex, but we won't go down. Then when you got to college, it was like an imperative that you did, or you wouldn't keep somebody if you was a guy. I don't know about you, because you said that you're allergic to. I did not say putting dicks in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you say that? I didn't say that. You're such an asshole. Did you say that? No, I no, did not say that. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm allergic to sperm. We, we, we've covered that though. Even though it moisturizes the skin and I'm gives good. you that glow. I have a nice mask at home to do. So anyway, so. so anyway, you know, I saw that post, and then you know, a couple. Post later, it was another girl on my timeline to make the same comment about being with a guy that doesn't want to go down on her, right? So then maybe he's gay. You know how Ron thinks vaginas is gross, this disgusting. Maybe he's gay, or not even just think vagina is gross, but like putting it in his mouth could be gross to him. I don't know. I just feel like it can be all types of reasons, not necessarily because there's like a stigma behind i mean it can literally be because he's grossed out or i don't know like but i mean i see dick okay. in my mouth ain't that appealing to me <laughs> so i'm just saying it's not something that i just want like i don't ask for it put your dick in my mouth like i don't <laughs> i don't want that like i don't just need to suck your dick like i just don't i, I don't <sighs> if i'm with you and i want you to feel good like i'm feeling good <laughs> yes we can like, change. Okay, wasn't what, what, what it about what? a year ago? Wasn't about a year like, ago? What? Hold on, wasn't it about a year ago around Christmas time when you was trying to pass off a uh, head as a as for a, one? It was a proper, it was a proper Christmas. It was a joke. Yes, proper Christmas gift, Christmas head, and birthdays, really? Christmas and birthday yes. head. Yes, I'm just saying. Is it really that? Is it really that bad for people though? I think some people, yes, I really do. I think some people just don't like it. I don't really think it has to be like this big reason why and all of that. I just feel like some people, it's just not their thing. And I get it. Okay, so I would tend to agree with you that yeah, it's not and that big me, reason. But hold on, though. Because you know, after I started doing research, because that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And there was a shit ton of articles and scientific journals on why certain people thought that and what were some of those? Uh, well, for the sexist man. <laughs> I can't with these sex for the, for the Yeah, I'm getting a lot of them, too. <laughs> oh, my God. For, for the sexist man, he said, well, for sexist men, their argument was they don't want to go down on a woman because it makes them feel like a woman because they're in a, a submissive position. That's stupid. That's fucking That's stupid. That's dumb as fuck. Right. But then on the other. Because the power the, that. The you exactly have of making this woman come from you being down there is nothing submissive about that. If exactly. anything, she's weak. Shit. Exactly. Fuck? That's stupid. Exactly. Okay. But that that was you know, and That's I saw more reason. than a few. I got some of them up here. Okay. Up here. But uh, uh, on the other side, and of if that, you're strong enough, pick her up. You ain't gotta be on your knees, boo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just saying. See, I try to feign being serious. You know, once I don't give a fuck throughout the show. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other side of that, women said that they also had that, that same issue. Like, they don't want to be down there because it makes them feel like that they're... Now, like, I ain't getting on my knees, system. though. You can lay in the bed. I, <laughs> I'm not... You're not standing over me and I'm on my knees sucking your dick. <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> While you grab my head and help, that's never going to happen. Just saying. I may be revealing way too much about my sex life, but at this point, I don't give a fuck because I'm just letting any man know that won't happen. So we can. So bae. I feel. I feel weekend that. Bae. You tell me, weekend bay. He fucking know. Who's the other one? Thug bay. Whatever. They bae? all know. How many bays you got? Don't be put my business up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I get that. I do get that. I'm not getting on my knees while you're standing above me. While I suck your dick, that ain't happening. Sorry. Nope. That's me personally. Other women may not care. Whatever. I'm just not. I mean, I get it like if they doing some fucked up shit while you're down there. but Men like to guide your head. I don't need no fucking help. Don't put your head. And y'all don't do that? Don't grab my head. Y'all don't do that? Well, we do it because it just feels great. You why do it because you want to be in control. Why can't the guy do it because it feels great? <laughs> you know? 
You can run your fingers through my hair or some shit, but don't grab <laughs> my head oh my and God. guide me. The fuck? If I'm guiding your ass, you doing it wrong. That's why. <laughs> well, maybe he's doing the same she, thing. I mean, that's true too. Teeth, teeth, teeth. That could be. That's true. I'm I'll just give saying. You, I'll give you that. That's true. Okay, so you know, I got, I got, I'll show these to you after the fact because we don't really have time to go through all of them. But then. So you have the, the argument of the people why they don't want to do it. Then I'm going to tell you my fear. Before you go through, I just want to tell you my fear. Your fear? Coming in my mouth. That ain't going to happen. Well, you can be like Tracy Kiss. Back up a little bit. Nope. Don't put it on me. Don't. You, you come in my mouth, I'm biting down. That's f- fucked up. That's fucked up. Because I pre-warn you. You know, you know how I you say. I pre-warn you. So if you're going to do it anyway, I'm fucking you up. You know, how, but, but you. you know how you be all. <laughs> you say this multiple times on the show. You say, you don't understand how a girl could go out with me. I don't understand how a dude could fuck with you if you're <laughs> threatening and biting off dicks for doing some natural. Like, it's just, but I pre-warned him. But then you do it anyway. This is what I'm saying. It's not like you didn't know. But what is he supposed to and do? I didn't say bite it off. But you said bite down. I mean, going to bite it off. If I tell you don't come in my mouth and you do it, we got a motherfucking problem. Because now you just disrespected me because I just told you not to do it and you did it. So where is he supposed to? Not in, that, in my mouth. Isn't that the cleaner, a, isn't that the cleaner pull, option? You better pull the, the fuck out. The like, you better option. pull out. Nigger. Isn't, that, isn't that the cleaner option? Pull out. You better do something. I don't give a fuck. If I tell you what I will and won't do and you do it anyway, we have a problem. <laughs> Period. That's just what it is. <laughs> anyway i don't care anyway on the opposite end of the spectrum right because i was doing the research there's a shit ton of articles that kind of talk about how like i kind of what i was saying earlier how like the older you get the more you're willing to try mm-hmm. remember two years ago three years ago maybe it wasn't even cool to to, to blow booty to eat booty but now you got I mean, songs about yeah, blowing booty like cool. groceries and shit. I'm not eating your ass. Like, that's gross. So where's the cutoff? Like, where, when do we stop, like, trying? Do I don't feel that there is a cutoff. I feel that it's to, it's to each his own. <laughs> like, it's whatever you're comfortable with is what I feel. I don't feel that people should feel, and this is going to be me contradicting so much about myself. I don't feel that people should, like, feel ashamed or be, like, ashamed of what they like to receive or to give even though i do judge the fuck out of people (laughs) for doing certain shit bitch you eat ass gross (laughs) like (laughs) it's just who i am if you my friend you already know who the fuck i am but it's just shit you gotta deal with if you're friends with me but i do feel like you should not be ashamed or have to be ashamed of what you like sexually i mean it is what it is like People like what they like. People don't like what they don't like. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel it should be have to be a thing, though. If you like to eat ass, eat ass. <laughs> I, like, mean, I, just kinda... I mean, I just, I don't know. I'm not that uptight when I, I appear to be uptight, but I'm not that uptight when it comes to sex, like, for other people. <laughs> for me, yeah. When you're receiving. But when you're no, doing it. No, that's fun. not true either. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Christmas head, dog. <laughs> 364 days. Ah, and here's the day that I'm going to suck your day. Christmas hair. It was a joke. Fuck you. <laughs> not even New Year's hair. Start the year off right. Christmas fucking hair. I'm just saying it's not something that I just, I'm just jumping for joy to do. That's all that I'm saying. <laughs> I don't get shit from it. Like, I just don't. Like, I'm going to do it because you, you like it. Okay, so if you're doing it because dude likes it, then shouldn't he be able to choose how to like it? Like, you don't want him to stand up. You don't want him to do this. He can't do that. Like, can't, shouldn't he choose? Like, he can stand up if I'm sitting on the bed. I'm not getting on my knee. My knee, on my knees is some submissive shit. That's like, I don't know. It's a mental thing for me. I'm not getting on my knees and doing shit for you. I don't even get on my knees to clean my motherfucking floors. Like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my knees are you crazy no Damn, you are really into it so it's a personal thing for me is what i'm saying girl if you choose to do that or guy do what you do like it is what it is i may be slightly judging you for certain things <laughs> that you do but you grown do what you do that's all i'm saying i'm just speaking personally i ain't doing it i'm gonna bite that you want your dick suck fine <laughs> 
Don't come in my mouth, though. I just thought in 20, well, almost 2016, that <laughs> certain things wouldn't be considered taboo anymore. And it was a surprise to that see was so still, many people in my timeline complaining about the same shit. That man. And it's funny like, that dude, men, because yeah. usually men be down. down. It'd be women. Like, I don't suck dick. Nah. Because men was, always was, talking about women. Like, you still don't suck dick. It's 2015. No, nah, it was blah, like blah, six blah. or seven. It was like six or seven different posts within a two day span. Well, luckily, I've never met a man that didn't want, that don't like eating coochie. Mm-hmm. So. Great for me, but and then he turned over. Yeah, my turn now. You be like, mm, nope, nope, no, nope. I'm not selfish like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't gonna be down there that low. <laughs> you gonna pull your phone out? You gonna look at the calendar? Oh wait, we got two months till Christmas. No. <laughs> Shut. Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? Is it Christmas? Is it Easter? We ain't doing it. I'm kidding. Why do you do this? <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna date me. <laughs> <laughs> you say. On a weekly basis, you don't understand why someone would go out with me <laughs> at all. We're both destined to be alone in the in Whatever. the in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, the old folks home. Yeah. Whatever. I like being by my goddamn self, so it's never a problem. I'm be that old man messing with the nurses. Mm-hmm. I am perfectly fine being by my goddamn self, so you know, I don't care. <laughs> Whatever. At least I am honest. So and I. I tell people things up front. Did you see what Nikki text, dog? Yes, I did. I hate you right now, Nikki. <laughs> but you don't even see the shit Vody been texting me. I can't. I can't. <laughs> so, all right. We got to end this. Uh, I guess so. I know. You know you did very well for a topic you were very uncomfortable with. It's not even that I'm uncomfortable. It's yeah, just I are. don't care. You are. Sucking dick ain't my thing, like I said. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> anyway, follow us. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> right, we won't follow y'all asses now, crazy motherfuckers. Right, all the dudes that liked you, they ain't fucking with you no <laughs> more now. You get two shots at head. My out phone's of instantly going to stop ringing. <laughs> no yep. more text messages for yep. me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> follow us on Twitter at Social Misconduct, Instagram, Social Misconduct. Facebook, Social Misconduct Radio. Guess what, guys? I finally put everything on SoundCloud and iTunes. Because <laughs> I'm horrible. Well, we don't have an intern anymore. Ron, where the fuck are you? <laughs> Ron's still a, I can't call Ron an intern. Man. Whatever. We don't have help. <laughs> so it took me forever, but I have everything is up to date on SoundCloud and iTunes. So if you just want to listen to past episodes, go there and uh, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss the show. I will try my best to, you know, stay on track now. This show, my goal is to put it on SoundCloud and iTunes tomorrow. Um, It's always on YouTube, always on LA Talk Radio. If you miss a show, you need to go back. You want to go back and watch it again or whatever. Um, Here's some dumb shit that we've said. There's always an opportunity to do that. (laughs) You outdid yourself today. Um, I I outdo myself quite often. (laughs) Um, it's who I am. I can't hide it. I, I just can't. You know this. Any announcements, anything we need to say before we go, before Sam kick us out? <laughs> he's looking over his head. Oh, no, he's not looking yet. <laughs> anything, anything, anything. Welcome back, Jordan, who we haven't seen yet. But what up, Jordan? We will. I can't remember. Park. Look, yeah, I remember now. Okay. I'll tell you. All right. All right. I remember now. I can't. Anything else? No. No? Mm-hmm. All right. Same time, same place next week. Peace. <laughs> You're listening to Social Misconduct with Mick and B-Wall, only on L.A. Talk Radio.